ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to what is another edition here of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. You got Mikey V coming into the top left shelf there and... Boys? Joey D is taking a... Are you going to record from the bathroom? Yeah, no, I, I, I looked at the layout. I have no chair. I have nothing. I just have a bed. And this is the best lighting and best area for me to film the podcast. You're gonna sit on the John. You're gonna sit on the John the entire episode. Is what you're gonna do. <laughs> I mean, the lighting in here is optimal. The sound. It's like I'm in a little studio in here. No, Joe, it's not. In fact, the sound couldn't be worse. If is I'm being now? <laughs> no, if I'm being honest, Joe, it's absolutely. You really wanna? Oh, you know, you know why? I... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I I know why. I know why. Do you believe this guy, Mikey? I mean, we've hit rock bottom. We're pretty we've hit rock bottom. I, pretty... I mean, the show is doing well, but this could very well flush it all down the toilet. No pun intended. Show. Show guys, going to do doing... a show from the toilet? Show is doing great, Mikey. Yeah, show's doing great. Show is doing great. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. Show's doing great. Show's doing great. Show's, show's doing, doing great. really, really good. Now show's I'm telling you right great. now, Joe thinks that this. Oh, uh, there you go. Now, now you can hear me. Nah. I don't like it, Joey D. Now we it had is, there's an all echo, but that's time right. to, Joe, you know what you do? I, I'll stay on the line with Mikey. Go get the seat from the living room and bring it up and put it on the thing next to your bed. By the way, you say that your beard doesn't look good today. I think your beard looks great. Your audio shit, but your beard looks really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But 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 go get that seat in the kitchen in the living room and and bring that to your bed. How does it sound now? T nothing. It's what? exactly the same. It's. A, did you do something? Yeah, I turned the noise. Something? I turned the noise canceling on. Oh, oh no! It's just. It's going to be the echo in the bathroom. Is just. Oh, why don't you go right. get the chair and just go do it from the bedroom? You know, I'm trying. You know, I. You know, I'm trying to make efforts here to do something. You know, to make a, an optimal viewing. Now experience. the audio. The audio is a million times better now. But look how dark this room is. It's not dark at all. It's not dark at all. And now I'm going to be on the bed. I'm going to look like Drake. In Bobby Altoff's podcast. Did you see the size of his dick, by the way? Jeez, Bob. Yo, his. This is I, a family pod. First off, just in regards to the to the Drake sex, not sex tape, but him. See, this just, looks. Look at the light behind here, Mikey. This looks terrible. No, Usually, it, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It I really would doesn't. think, you know, how could Drake possibly be dumb enough, knowing that the magnitude that he's at? as big and as famous as he is to go out thing, and send a girl that video. And then we wanted it, the video, he wanted it out there. You see the size of his cock. I agree with you, Mikey. I mean, Bob, from the sound of it, you got, you got a package of your own. That's not to be dismantled as well. What are Bob we doing he's packing here? heat? Who's trying to dismantle his penis, Joe? What are you just Joe, I'm saying you... Bob's talking about having a big package with, with Drake. Here's the thing. Here's Come Jay. On, Drake's, Drake's mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Drake's, well, mindset, <laughs> Drake's mindset has to be uh, I got the money I got the following I got the popularity might as well just put the cherry on top and show everyone my huge fucking horse cock on top of it might as well just do that because and that just seals the, that just makes it like now now it's like what what else does this guy got he's got all the money he's got some the guys Michael have it all that's really true man yeah. You know what? <laughs> Maybe he wasn't getting enough of a rush off, you know, like all his mixtapes that he drops, his albums crushed. Like Dude. maybe money. Maybe he wasn't mm. getting rushed where he needed that that next thing. We should get him on the show. Dude, let me tell you something. These guys, right? These guys, I have a theory about all this. These guys who are in the highest level of society in terms of popularity, money, they get bored, bro. They get yeah. bored of it. You could, they could bang like eight chicks at once every night if they wanted to. That's not enough anymore. And some of them turn into know, perversion. Once a lot. That's actually a lot of work. I'd yeah, but not for these. These guys could do it. It wouldn't even, they could, they could do it. They wouldn't even have to blink an eye. But these other people, bro, and it either, it goes one of two ways. It could get very, very shady and like weird, like perversion shit. I'm not going to go there, but you it's know it, what it's I'm like talking the, about. It's like the eyes they wide a lot of movie. Netflix. They did a lot of Netflix specials on it. They've made documentaries about it. You go that way or it could go the way of Drake. And he's just, you know, he's got to make a, he's got to make a video. He's got to put out photos. 
you know, it, it's going to go one of two ways. Really, really dark, or the guy's just going to be a total psycho like that. Mike, did you watch the movie Eyes Wide Shut? Yeah, Nicole Kidman and uh, and Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Yeah. yeah, Bob, you should watch that movie. It is awesome. You no know, movie I just watched for the first time last night, Joe. Dune. I had never seen it. I haven't Have seen, seen it either, but they got a, a, the second one coming out. Dude, watch <clears> that movie. <throat> but Bob, in the Bob, movie, Bob would, hate, sh- Bob would hate this movie. What does that have to do with Drake's dick? No, because Eyes Wide Shut, it's about the, what's what's that, the Illuminati kind of style? Like, yeah, the people yeah. of the high society, they're into, like, weird, weird shit. shit. They, grew, yeah. they run yeah. the world without anybody yep. else knowing, yep. but they have, like, this secret society of stuff that goes down. We got to make sure that Bob doesn't become one of those people to start wearing. Well, he's not far off mask. there. That's what I'm goals. saying. We don't need we don't need Bob to start wearing those masks <laughs> that you could only buy in, like, uh, in like oh, uh, oh, Venice yeah, yeah. with the big, like, yeah. fucking hook noses. and Yeah, like, like the clown like mask. The gest- jesters. Yeah. The jester mask. Or jester. You know? I don't think you got to worry about that with me. Okay. I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't think. <laughs> I, I really don't Just think that's right. Speaking Things of beers, crazy brother, quickly. My beard looks awesome. Well, I'm telling you, this new guy that you got's better than. He's better than Q. No, oh, I can't wow. go to Q anymore. Q went to prison. Did you hear this? Q went to prison. Whoa. Two to ten years. Q the barber. For what? Two. I, I, Is it, that not to be discussed? I, it's it hard a, to go. He was convicted already. He went to trial and was convicted. He's serving time. He's 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 getting. He last I saw, he said he was on parole. Last, he's going to be the last haircut. Um, he said he he was expecting <laughs> two to ten years. But you know what was the craziest thing? Mm. What? Totally at peace with it. He is totally at peace with well, it. Well, Bob, now it makes all the sense in the world now why he took so long to do your hair. And like your shave your beard is because the guy had nothing but time left. He he wanted to enjoy his last moments before you know he couldn't Honestly, do it Joe, ever I, again. I thought you. Were I don't know how you could take. Well, I'm going to take a shot now. I don't know how you take an hour and a half with what you're working with. Wow. Oh my god, man, he's coming. What the that's fuck? Tough. I that's almost, tough. I'm not saying. I'm that's not being. Tough. I'm just. How are you going to sit here and say <laughs> that that's not a shot? That's my most vulnerable part. I have to me is that it. So 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 I'll take it. I'll wear it on the chin. But but so don't say not that. It's not an a hour. Shot. You told me you took an hour and a half the last time. Well, it's the beard. What is he doing? doing? Yeah, no, the but, beard. The beard takes a half hour usually. Yeah, come to think, an of it. hour and a half. Michael. Well, the hour and the, the other guy's hour, hair was short to begin with. This guy, he could be like, is he one of those real like chatty Looks barbers good. who's Looks like good. talking all the time? Is he talking no. to like all the other barbers? He's you know, singing. He's no, doing all that shit. To be honest, that's what I liked about Q the barbers. There was such a good mix. Like he knew okay. when to come in, and then okay. he knew when I wasn't having it. What I do now is I just go on my phone throughout the the entire thing. Yeah, You're not, not supposed surprising. to do that. What do you mean? Not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be on your phone during the during like it's it's like it's kind of like a not sacred a like yeah etiquette thing that you just you talk or you be present. The guys do in your face. You start moving around, text messaging and stuff like that's that that makes it a, a hindrance for him to cut your hair. I got nothing to be present for. I mean, when he talks to me, I, I put it away and I, I, I have a dialogue. But doesn't him. he ask you to lift your head while you're texting so he can shave your beard? I, we, we're so in sync that I know when he needs me to do that. He, and knows, I, the I, <laughs> he knows the timing. He knows the timing. Bob, I have to ask sure. you a question, okay? Sure. And this is, this is uh, this is you know, when was the last time you took a flight that had Wi-Fi on it and you didn't purchase the Wi-Fi and you just sat there and listened to music on your phone and did not do anything? I don't, know. I don't since why since it started up i don't think i've ever yeah i mean i, I don't know man i i if wi-fi is available i'm buying it too but my oh, point sure. is that bob he's in sync with this he's got to be with the phone at all all time yeah, it's, just, it's just it's it's i mean well it's really both of your biz. i mean it's your livelihood both of you i mean of you have course. to be on the phone you have to be michael what's your screen time i don't know i don't even know how to check it uh, and yeah, frankly, I frankly, I don't want to check it to be honest. No, I want I, you to. I, I, I feel want like to see yours what your won't be great, is. but I, I don't think yours is going to be. Yours will not be good by any means, but I don't think it's going to be. You want to know my screen time? Sure. Yeah. Eight and a half hours a day. That's a working clock in, clock out. Eight hours and that is no. Minutes. What are you doing there? There's this no, is like wow. this guy with the go. Now I will say it says I'm down twenty nine percent from last week. But eight what hours and thirty. So go to the week. Go to the week. Go to the week. Oh, forget about the week. We already <laughs> forget about the week. That's the daily average from the week. What are you, Mikey? 
I can't even look at it because I don't have I don't the app the app isn't even turned on. Turn what? on app and and website activity. I guess I when I when I get it, I don't even I didn't even put it on. Mikey could sneaky get up there. I think yeah, really, I could. I think I'm with not, all those, I'm not turning it with on. all those Bears sure. news that you know, imagine during an NFL season could be risky like, business. Me turning that on, there could be some <laughs> conflicts of interest there. There's no need for me to turn that on. No. Yeah. All my point is, it's just yeah. like I think nowadays too. I, I'm I'm hooked with my phone, but like it's good to have some moments where you're not on the phone. And one of those moments is you're at the barber shop. Dinner, I, dinner. Joe, but at the same time, too, there's times, Joe. You know what? I you're you're the the amount that you're on your phone during dinner that bothers me a lot because you will see me. I do. I am very good with that. When it comes to dinners, you will not see me on my phone. If we that, go for a nice dinner, most of the time I'm not on it. Joseph, if we went down to that living room right now and pulled the guys about you on dinner with your phone. You would not like the results of that. Not when we go out for a nice dinner. Like when we go, if when we went I, out for a nice steak dinner the last time at Ruth Chris, I was barely on my phone the, the entire time. I didn't that know anybody that on the phone. Time when I, the, I didn't. When I take, I didn't. The, when that, I take the phone out, it's to take videos or to like what, film. Well, the no, 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 no. You know what you will do, though, that bothers me? Is you'll watch the games on your phone. Well, if it's a massive, having, massive game. Having dinner and... And, and I think that's it. So, so the barber thing, I think it fails in comparison to the dinner table. Cause you know what, Joe, you're, you really, you're the straw that stirs the drink at the dinner table. And if we don't have you fully present, I think the dinner really lacks. Suffers. Right. Dinner suffers. Can I ask you that's a compliment, question? by the way? Here's the, here's no, the, I think I'll, I'll, I'll ask a question though. Follow I, I question. remember this. Though. I bagged I you, but I tagged you. I think people need to remember that in terms of the hours used on the phone, number one, we like you guys in particular, this is your full-time job, but even for somebody like me, anybody in this space, on top of having to be on the phone for content purposes, think about all the things that are now done on the phone that, that were never done in the past, sure. you know, checking a ring doorbell camera, paying bills, all your bills are through apps, every banking Email, is all through emails. apps. Everything is through the phone. Everything. There's no reason, really. Sports honestly. games. Yeah, I, no, there's I nothing else. Well, no, no, but he's right. I mean, sports wagering, watching TV. You can watch the TV on the phone. I mean, all of that counts. I think that has to be taken into consideration. Yeah, but think about that. Like, me and Joe's just there, okay? Eight hours and 30 minutes, right? Yeah. That's like Doors remember, normally more than that. That's pretty good. If, if that's, that's, a case, full -time, that's a full-time that's a full-time job. You a 40 hour work week that's a union nine to five that's you know what his normal five. one is michael it's like 11 hours to 12 hours a day that's well half was, day. well think about it It was eight and a half <laughs> hours and i i was down 29 yeah. percent from last sure. week so what would that well, be that's good 11 to about about 11 or 11 or so i see what you're saying mikey and we're in the business but the bottom line is too out of those eight and a half hours, if you ask me and Joe, as far we do work hard. Don't get me wrong. We we no. How work. much is it just looking at nonsense? Uh, yeah, out of that yeah. eight and a half, how much of it is actually work? Sure. Oh it, no, very minimal. Yeah, you know, I would what say I mean? my, mine is more work than Bob. Of course, you would say that. You know, well, Bob. I, I, here's the Bob. thing. Bob looks at a lot of stuff on like memes and online stuff. Like he's a lot, he's like very good on like the internet stuff, which yeah. kind of pertains to his job. So, I mean, I mean, you could. Bob consumes a lot of content, man. Yeah. He's a yeah. He really, so he in that realm, like, I will so much Bob more credit. than I am, bro. So much more. Bob's than a content I am. Like, king. I don't, he listens to so many podcasts. I don't know how he does it. I really content don't know how king. he does it. Now, Bob, I, I want actually, to address something. It impresses now. me. I want I to can. ask a question going back to the dinner yeah. thing. Cause there have been times I've done that, but. I want to ask, like, realistically, do I not, like, most of the times when we go for dinner, do I not bring it? Like, I think almost always I bring, to the point when if I don't bring it, it's, and you're the thing, you you and I, we when we go to a dinner table, when we're out, we bring it so consistently that if, if we don't, it's almost, like, shockingly alarming, like, oh, my goodness, he was just off his game, to the point where, like, I am on the phone sometimes, but I do feel like I make definitive impacts at the dinner table. I Which think is the, yeah, the I think ordering, the thread. ordering, the ordering. How many times do I order for the table? I'll give you credit for the ordering, no question. Okay, so that's a that's a big one right there. Yeah. The 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 laughing, the jovialness, like that. Like I think that there's a lot. <laughs> the joke. Okay, you know right. what I mean, like. 
I, I am a presence at a dinner table. That's I, why we need you <laughs> off of the phone. There, there, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of dinners where that's not the case. And yeah, we suffer substantially when you're on your phone. The only thing I was looking for credit for that, you know, yeah, I'm on the phone during the barber. When it comes to the dinner tables, that I take seriously. And that, that phone does not come out much at all at the dinner table. Now I'll, I'll try to be this. better. I'll try to be better. Is that one of these I'm seeing? Sure. Might give you a two. Come on, let's clap it up there for Joey D. That's hand up accountability coming out of Joey D. All right, folks. I wanted to take a second. Well, we wanted to take a second to let you know that this wonderful podcast is, in fact, brought to you by the one, the only NASCAR. If it ain't NASCAR, I don't want it. And NASCAR has now the Pennzoil 400 presented by Jiffy Lube at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway coming up Sunday, March 3rd at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox. You want to talk high stakes, let's talk high stakes. A st high stakes race in Sin City obliterates any other race anywhere else. This is going to be one for the ages. You got star drivers, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, Danny Hamlin, and Bubba Wallace duking it out for first place. If it ain't NASCAR, don't give it to me. We're NASCAR guys through and through. Make sure you check out NASCAR's badass new Netflix docu-series, NASCAR, full speed, and do yourself a favor. Watch the race on Sunday, March 3rd. That's going to be available to you, 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox. We love the Brown the Dumb show, but most importantly, we love NASCAR. I'm going to tell you this. my uh, If I go top five dinners of my life, you three are, are part of those dinners. Rayos, first outing at Rayos. And New then York. secondly, I think I think Ruth Chris has to Ruth be Chris on that. Ruth Chris was a great dinner. Was that I think it's an, great? Because it was Mikey. I think it was elevated because we don't get a lot of dinners with Mikey. I think it was elevated, but I think it's like honorable mention. I, I think it's up there for sure. Like it's it, it was it was the seafood platter alone. I mean, I would go back to it. That that seafood that's platter, right. I had that's I have right. dreams of that thing. By the way, yeah, don't you right. the, the best seafood? <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best seafood platters. It was no bullshit. It was right to the hard hitting stuff. Um, you know what I was thinking about last night, Joe? We're in Myrtle Beach on a on a Bob Dos board trip right now. Did you notice that the living room vibes were not? It, it didn't have its a stuff last night. No, we we were missing Mikey. I thought about that while we were there. Something was something wasn't there last night, and I think Mikey's really, really. You know, it's tough to find. It's tough to find a man with stamina such as myself. I have See, a lot of stamina. Takes it to another level. I don't you, mean you it. Get I don't mean it. I, no, 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 no. Wait. I don't mean it. I don't mean it's stamina like athletic athletic stamina. Just like just like my routine. I I just like I'll be up early. I'll be ready to game as soon as we wake up. I'm ready to go. You know, you want to you want to bet a soccer game? You want to bet, you know, cricket? Whatever you want to bet, we can bet it. I'm ready for breakfast. I'm ready to, uh, you know, it's just, it's a certain stamina. Not everybody can, can maintain that. People need sleep. People need a lot of sleep. People need this. This guy's really that. feeling himself right oh, now. Oh, boy. No, I, no, 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 no. I, I thought he would have been man. graciously welcome in the compliment. And no, said but what I'm saying is like, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an have. example. I'll give you an example. This past Saturday, I had a couple of the boys. Holly went out to dinner with the girls. I had a couple of the boys over the house. We That's watching fun. the games in the basement. We had a great time. Great time. Now it's midnight and we're looking for something to bet. Found Hawaii men's basketball at midnight. Always still we're betting always Hawaii there. men's basketball. Hawaii game ends. We're looking for something else. Now it's two thirty in the morning. We find oh, see, that's time to go. We to find bed. Mongolia against Guam. Asian League professional basketball. We're betting Mongolia against Guam. Yes. Was Dicky Gas there? He was the he was the perpetrator. Oh, he was the main perpetrator. Oh, he found man. Guam versus Mongolia. <laughs> this Here's guy the thing. Is sick. Bed in bed probably four a.m. Kids are up at eight. I was up and ready to. Go. I'm watching EPL eight o'clock in the morning. I'm just saying like. <laughs> I'm just saying, like I could do things like that. Like it's not like I'm ready. Like I'm I'm at that level all the time, and it's a curse. It's a blessing and a curse because it's tough for me to dial down a lot of times. But at other times, it's very good because it's also willing to go crowd surfing it. with a broken back. 
I didn't crowd surf for more than like one second. So that's no. that's alleged. That's alleged. <laughs> oh, I saw them lifting oh, him uh, up like he was, was like he was fucking Axel Rose from Guns and Roses. So sure. if, you could, uh, if you could go ahead and kindly fire up the clip of Mikey B not crowd surfing, that'll be yeah. great. Just yeah. fire that right on up there. Um, fellas, the new thing that I just want to touch about, touch on briefly, uh, the snake draft, it seems like was a hit and I love getting the feedback from the audience and a lot of good ideas come from the audience. The snake draft was so much fun to where like tonight near the end of the show, I look forward to doing the snake draft. Yeah. The snake draft, I think adds an, I think the fact that we can't repeat any of our things anymore it, it, it assures you one that it's off the top of your head because you can't make, I mean, you can make a pool of, of things you want to select and then I guess cross them off as they're selected, but it's definitely more off the top of your head, which could make for some very funny situations. Uh, and I just think that it, it's just better with no repeats. I think it's just, it's, it's people seem to really respond well to it. So by we'll, the way, we'll stick with it. I was just thinking the, uh, Top five that, that we said we were going to do, we're actually sure. not doing this week. Remember we said we were going to do the fast food items? No, the yeah, snake draft. So let's make sure we'll we dial that in. Next week. We will, but the, this one's good. This is a Mikey V top five. That By we're the have. way, Later. I ahead. think I'm getting banged on the polling system a little bit, Bob. Here we go. Here we go. Why? Because you didn't Well, work? no, because no, because you guys both have Twitter. When you put it on your Twitter, you get votes from Twitter and Instagram that are combined and I, I'm you not got, getting you got any votes of the Twitter on, You votes. got votes on Twitter. Probably not much. You guys, no. like, Mikey, you actually went and said to the voiceless, vote for me. Like, I, that, that, that's 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 outrageous. Did, Bob, did he? Bob, 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 Bob. He Bob, did, Bob. Bob I, I said, Bob, you got to be objective Bob. with this stuff. You can't tell you know, someone, is, vote yes. for me. You like, And then he said, oh, Cutsy, you did the same. I said, no, I didn't. I put on the thing. To help push the podcast, I said, you know what to do. Go and vote. That's uh, it. Go vote. Go vote. Not vote for me. Mikey says to the voiceless, not only does he say vote for me, he circled his selection on his story so they knew exactly what his top five were and said, voiceless, go vote. So Is that's this... biased votes coming in, Bob. Right out of I, Mikey, I I, you're saying, Bob, I swear, I, I did not know that this took place. Now we're not oh, saying it, that's a legal. Oh, who are you fucking bullshitting? Uh, you I'm, are I'm such being, a bullshitter. No, my uh, yeah, being, no, 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 hold on. It happened right out can of the I, gates. Can I talk now? Can I defend myself or no? Go ahead. You let me know when I have the floor. You yeah. let me know. Well, Am we won't I good? get back for a while. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Number one, this was brought up multiple times in the Brilliantly Dumb Show chat and the Gambler's Digest chat where Joe said to me that I was pandering for votes. I said, go and vote. Joe put up a story before I even did saying, you know what to do. I don't care if you say, go vote for me or you know what to do. It's the same exact no, fucking thing. No, it is. That's what, yes, it is. That's it's one. Telling someone number to go two, vote. Number two, Bob 1000% was aware of all of this. Him pretending that this is a mystery to him is outrageous, preposterous, no, and atypical of a pretzel master that he is, as we know he is. Number yeah. three, finally, this is what I'll say. Anytime there's a situation where a gentleman that has a fraction, but a fraction of the following that you two fine gentlemen have, is able to oust you in a vote, in a popular vote, that you need to look into the mirror, Joe. Look into the mirror and say, <laughs> how could I be better? How, let's not blame Mikey's uh, polling tactics. How could I produce a better list? Look in the mirror. Think about it. You Come took your minions and you sent them to vote. I have no minions, Joe. Oh, I'm the but, minions I'm are but, the voice. I'm, I'm but a pimple on the ass of, of influence. Hey, that's, that's a big old pimple. Oh, pimple. that's a big old pimple. That's a powerful pimple. That's a pimple with that a punch. That's a pimple that backs a punch. coming out of it. That's well, a well. big old warty pimple. Coming out. Yeah, well, you don't want it to get squeezed and explode you like this, in your eye. Explode everywhere, yeah. right in your eye. Yeah, that you're pimple. like the guy from. But Mikey's like the guy from Despicable Me, and his minions are the voices, that, <laughs> and he just sends them on uh, over to you know. And it. I won't stand for that kind of talk about the voices either. The voiceless are a passionate group of people. I like the voices, but they're biased. 
I, well, well, because I, they, they, they see through your bullshit. They see so through all so this you admit, shit. So you admit that they're biased. No, no. I admit that they see through your bullshit. That, oh, that I'll admit. Give me a break. They always vote for you because you tell them to vote for you. And they want those picks to keep no, coming in could, like sweet could, honey. Let's on a say, fucking let's say Sunday on a morning gr- to spread over their toast and have with their coffee while they watch let's the cash say, flow in. Let's say on a great week of my 75,000 followers, whatever I have. Let's say on the best week I have, 50% of them actually place votes in a poll and vote for me. 50%. That's about 37,000 and change. Okay. How in the world can you say that they're gonna that that's gonna sway a vote when you got 300 k or whatever it is you have? And Bob but it's not has about close the to a million. Because I don't think it's volume. They're gonna vote many- you. Well, I wish that all I think you got 000... a lot of, I think you got a lot of cold cuts he's uh defecting no, over I don't. to my well... <laughs> I I do not I okay. take a lot of slack if anything. Here's the thing is that I'm not trying to appease to anybody. I am what I am. You know that. I'm what trying you, to I'm trying to appease get. To, I'm trying to 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 appease to appease people. You're the minion king. <laughs> that is outrageous, man. Is it? By the way, you call subscri- the, subscribe you call to all the subs today of the a month. All you got to do is go to my profile on Instagram. Click the subscribe button when you get there. You want to follow the pics, you want to follow the brotherhood, the daily workouts. It's all there right in front of you for you. Join us, voiceless. Join us, brotherhood. Bob. We love you, and we'll continue to love you. Folks, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG1. I'm telling you right now, Athletic Greens is the real deal. I take it every single morning. Every single morning, I'm suiting up with the one, the only, Athletic Greens. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. It makes me feel energized, helps your gut health, and does it all. Do the right thing. Knock down some AG1 today. You can't go wrong. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1, and that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. You cannot go wrong. Start your day right. Take care of your health. Take ownership of your health with the fine folks over at AG1. Athletic Greens to the moon. As an objective bystander, Bob, do I, at any time, I speak my mind clearly, what you see is what you get. I, I am not here to try to get popular opinion or have someone say that I'm the best. I, I, that, I made that it is very true. clear. Yes. Oh. That, that is well, true. I, but I, so I, but I am. <laughs> but I am, Bob. <laughs> oh, so every time, every trends, time I do. First of all, every time I now do my AI top five, guy over here. Every week, yeah, and I was made fun of guy for that. the trends fine. like a fucking. That's fine. <laughs> AI now I'm getting roasted for using AI. That's I'm just happening. saying, Michael, I'm not. I actually think that the AI is very good. I'm what do you saying mean it's that... a trend. What are you what are you talking about? Mikey, that is such a trend right now. The AI it's a newer you... thing. That doesn't mean it's like which a is trend. a trend. It's newer. What a new thing that is popular that people use is called that's the yeah. definition of a trend. Yeah. And what's rating fucking sandwiches, Joe? That's not a trend. Rating food that's a tale is not as old a trend. as time. It's a tale as old as time. Of course it is. Of course I it is. I bet you back in, in the Stone Age, back in the fucking in the Byzantine Empire, they were fucking rating sandwiches. Sure. Yeah. I think Julius Caesar was rating his fucking venison that his Roman centurions were cooking up. If the time, sandwich sure. wasn't up to par, he fucking shit you at the stake. That was a different time. You would just get killed. Yeah. Was, <laughs> thank God we live with it. Thank God we live but in a civilized I'll say this era. too. Bob needs to. How many times, Bob? Do I do my top five? And Bob is always like, <laughs> oh, let's see how that does. Like, like he always rips me for my well, top five. No, at least no, one or two no, choices. No. See, that's, that's true. true. That's no, true. You got to be able to take these things on the chin, oh, though, and not get I'm, upset. I take them on the because, chin every week, because, but I'm going to, I'm not going to Do you here. though? Do you? I Mikey, guess, you I, just I you know. just said that you weren't you weren't the voice of the voice. Like, no, but, you but that, I like, am. It was fine. I am the voice. I, everything was fine. But yeah. but if I feel that there's a bad top five that comes the same way, for example, yes. by yourself, no. 
when you yeah. roast me too on the ice, and he does. But he takes it. And that's true. Up, and that's the way that it should. No, but that's why I'm how saying. How are you getting brought you... into this, Bob? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you how. Because when I said, when I said, I don't make, I don't cater or uh, I don't, I don't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't, um, oh Deflect. my God. No, 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 no. Joe's I don't, oh, oh, here we go. I don't, um, I don't, uh, make what or you mold. Looking? I don't make or mold my top fives into trying to make them a popular and vote and you shouldn't and but what that's I'm one saying of the good is what backs do. that up and proves that is how every <laughs> week bob makes a comment about at least one or two picks where he's like i don't know about that pick if it was a popularity contest top five he would just be like oh that's 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 no, a pick. so Mikey, it's not me that's... it's not me saying i can't take it it's me saying like that proves i think that i don't just do it for popular no votes. but that's everybody i think with the top fives we're all very honest with each other that when somebody has a good pick or a good take we all say that. I great, agree. I agree. I agree. I think we're pretty good. Joey Diaz is hand up. Sure. I, I, I will say this. I've roasted Mikey a little bit, but. Curate. That was the word I was looking for. Curate. That's, that's a very good word. I, I have roasted Michael a little bit today, but I will be the and first me. to say. Not really. Um, yeah, yeah, the will, hour and a half. That was Yeah. Tough. The, okay. That I'm sorry, Bob. Um, I, I will say, sorry. first of all, I love you both. But secondly, I will say if I'm being very objective. More often than not, I actually think Mikey has the best top fives. I think I think he's got good. I again, I think. We're but very that is that the, him him deflecting and saying that because we have more followers, we're automatically getting more votes. That's ridiculous. We're not telling our people to vote specifically for us. Michael, would you like to respond? <laughs> not really. When have you ever heard me say go vote for Cutsy? Joe, you said it without saying it. When you put up on your story, your story, here's the vote. You know what to do. What does that mean? It means go. It means vote. just participate. That's what it means. Yes. Just participate. Okay. It means be part. Be, Bob, do you be believe that? Be honest, Bob. Do you believe that, Bob? I'm not trying that? to win. I, I don't, don't care. Bob, I, I mean, my top five is always good. I mean, of course, he wants them to go vote for him. No, no question about it, for sure. Of course, he but does. I ain't telling them to go vote for me. Like I mean, Michael, when I Michael circled his selection, I mean, oh, I sure did. On, I didn't I see did. the I circle. Wanna, I think I the wanna, circle, the circle is a we, lot. We started the snake draft. I wanted to set the tone and set it early that I'm here. I'm here to you know Stevie participate. Stevie Wonder would have known that he was asking them to vote for him. That is, I that's mean, a I lot. I spelled it that's out. I'm not denying. I'm not denying. I asked them to vote for me, though. I'm not. I'm not denying that. Let me tell you. That's what all I, I'm saying. What I preach over at Brilliantly Dumb is <laughs> I, I about these top fives. I want to bring in as much traffic as possible to the show. Sure. Okay, yeah. to the program and yes. and. Do I when I put it up? Do I want them to vote for me? Of course, but I I'm not going to tell them to vote for me. Whatever they feel is the best is the best. And I then think here's the we should we should set a ground rule. We should set a ground rule, and I'll abide by this rule. I'll swear to it on a stack of Bibles right now. No when asking for votes. Play, when when the vote post comes out and we get tagged when we reshare it, just a reshare with no captions whatsoever, no no stickers. No, 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 no fucking what about icon. Great top five icon. this week. Go no. vote. Mikey, I by the way, you didn't do anything illegal. I'm not saying that no, that's why no, you won. No, you know what I mean? I will say this. I would I would willingly lose a hundred top fives in a row if that meant every week we had more views and more subscribers to this a thousand podcast. Per, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. And I think at the end of the day, we're all on the same. I think I would don't. I think I would donate a kidney to get more. We're all in the same boat. We want to be in the top in the top tier of of, of a comedy podcast. Now that right. we're in that actual or, or tech or tech. tech. Don't forget about tech <laughs> or tech. You know, boys. I, I think tech. um, I think this. I think the show's gonna have its day. I really do. I, I mean, I think that's this, the dream. That's that's. that's I think that's this show's dream. gonna be you know one day just monster pop the sports type shit, Mikey V. Sails off into the sunset all together, wow. and, and and we just I think we're gonna have our day. And by the way, we are growing. We are. Absolutely- and here's the thing: no one can say we haven't paid our dues. We've been on this thing week after week after week, put, putting in the time and trying to grow this thing. Trying to grow. That's right. I think so. We've been it would be. It would be. It would be. You know, appropriate that this thing would take off. It's like nestling a beautiful little plant from like a, a little seedling into a beautiful garden. Into mm. a huge forest. 
Yes. I think that's that's one way to put it. I think that's I one way to put it. Okay. Mikey, what are you drinking there? Uh, poppy soda. Delicious. Poppy? Hmm. Probiotic, low-calorie soda. Is that 25, that? 25 calories, probiotic soda. We should Mikey, get that for a ticket, the poppy Mikey, soda. When you poppy think... Soda. When you think of like delis or sub sandwich shop, like sub spots or or, uh-huh. or whatnot, um, that's that's the same thing. I mean, like bagel spots or like delis. What are some yeah. some drinks that you think of? Because I think of like Snapple. I think of Dr. Gatorade. Brown's Black Gatorade. Cherry. There's always sure. Gatorade. Always sure. Gatorade. Um, Yuhu. There's always Yuhu. Chocolate. That's milk. a really always good one. Milk. That's a yeah. really good one. Yeah. What do you think of Joey D? Coffee, delis, obviously. Delis, I think of uh, like Limonata, like San Pellegrino. <laughs> yeah, you're such a What's wrong with that? You're such a bougie bitch, man. <laughs> Dude, I am so uncomfortable <laughs> sitting on this bed. You're a bougie bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bougie. I was going to do the podcast from a bathroom, Bob. Okay. Um, fellas, he was, he was, he was. Yeah. That's not bougie. I, I can't get comfortable here. You were doing me. good. Why don't you were doing good? Lean up against the headboard. I know my legs cramping. I think I got a Charlie horse. No, you would know if you had a Charlie horse. It's yeah. Not you'd a be think. fucking, you'd be wigging out. Yeah. Have you had one, Michael? Yeah. They're horrible. You know what I think hell is? I think hell is just an never ending Charlie horse. You, you know, know what's worse than a Charlie horse? Good one. When you stub your toe on a fucking Ooh. inordinate object. Dude, I've done that. So I did times. that the other day, Mikey. Oh. I smashed it up against the side of the bed. Oh. The whole foot, like my whole toenail went black, black. and blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Instantly. I've lost I've lost two pinky toenails before. You smashing pick, them into things. You pick your it's, nails, right, Joe? What do you mean pick my nails? Like like fingers and feet. No, what the hell do you mean me, pick? What people do you mean tell pick? me that I actually got to cut my my fingernails are too long. What do you long. mean pick? What do you I mean used pick? to bite. I used to bite my nails. What do you mean I, pick? I pick my I pick my toes. What like do you I, mean? I take the nail off. Oh, you clip them? No, I don't clip them. I pick them with your fingers. What? what? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? All the time. I was, I was a kid. You don't you don't clip your toenails. You just pick the nail off. I, I have I, I have picked the them clipper. before. I do pick them sometimes, but normally I clip them with a finger with with a toenail clipper. What about your fingernails? I I I I pick them. I, I bite them or I, I pick them off. <laughs> <laughs> no, this 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 story just gets weirder and weirder. Man. He's yeah. really dumb. I bet a lot Bob, of I bet a... Bob, why don't you clip, man? <laughs> you know, biting your nails is one of Whoa. the dirtiest things you could do. I've done you know, it for years. Yeah, I'm guilty of doing dry... it for years. Oh, yeah. It is, you... the, it is, it is the fingernail. And listen, I'm not a germaphobe. By any means, I'm not a germaphobe. I'll take a <laughs> dump in a, in a I'll take a dump in an Exxon Mobil gas station on Route 95 if I have to. If I gotta go, I'm going. I don't care. I'm not a germaphobe. But biting nails, man, is just a lot the, of bacteria the, underneath <laughs> the bed of the nail is the is the epicenter yeah. of, of the worst of germs issues. you could you could Joe, possibly talk. Joe, let him let him fucking talk. It's fine. Let, let him go. The, 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 He's right. The, the bed of the nail, the underside of the nail is the epicenter of every germ and everything you've touched, unless you are a meticulous. Like, like every time you touch a surface hand washer, which I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I, I, I uh, uh, that bothers me. The nail biting bothers me. I get nervous um, about the nail biting. I did it for a long time. I'm slowly starting to stop it because I realize what you're saying is right. It's a bacterial parade. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a free for all under there. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what's going on under there. It's, it's a hot bed. It's a hot. Oh bed. yeah. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> It's it's but not the good. toenail, yeah. the toenail. I, I can't believe you pick your toenails off, bro. When I like get an like orangutan, a... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just sitting in a tree, just fucking picking his <laughs> it's wild to me. Yeah, I can't it. believe that. And yeah, he's cause... probably on his phone while he's doing it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching a YouTube video. How to pick my toenails? Oh, uh, how pick- to make how to make money for picking my toes? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a shot. That's it a is, shot. man. That's it a is. shot. It is. I'm a Come on. Um, all right, shot. fellas, let's go on into our buy or sell. 
segment of the show. What did you see this week that you liked? What did you see this week that you did not like? Um, let's start with Joey D. Joey D, why don't you start us off by yourself? This is a bit of a weird one. Um, but I have to, I have to, I have to put it in as a sell because I just don't understand who enjoys this. Um, so my new car it has something, obviously it's newer than the Jaguar I drove, which was ancient. And it's got this thing in it and, and it, it drives me nuts. And I turn it off every time I tell Nicole, it drives me nuts. It's an engine start stop system button. So when you pull up to the stop sign or like a red light, it it tries to preserve the engine, and you know what I'm talking about, Mikey. The it fuel, shuts. Yeah, it's a fuel economy. It's a it's an auto. It's like an auto start stop. But every you time you want to talk, every about time the car idles, the engine goes off. What, one of the most annoying fucking little gadgets that you can have. The the amount of fuel that it is saving me by stopping at a red light is so minuscule. That and then and then every time it starts up again, it jolts the car up, and I, I I just I turn it off every time. I don't understand it. I don't get it. If you want to preserve fuel, make better engines that fucking don't burn shitloads of gas uh, per gallon, and 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 allow me to have my engine run smoothly throughout without turning on and off every time I stop at a light. I'm selling it. It's stupid. I don't think it's necessary, and quite frankly, it should be banned. What kind of car is it? What do you mean? What kind of car? Kind they of have car? it in all. They have it in all the cars now, Bob. It's new technology. I don't think they do. What kind of car is it? My car? Yeah, I have a Mercedes. You know. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Stop, <laughs> baby. Jeez, old this man. guy's trying to bait and switch me. This is what he did me. to this me is... five wow. minutes ago, Joe. Wow. This is... He's trying to bait and switch. That, you see that? I never made it about my vehicle. I said oh, all cars. Oh, the newer, the new. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you know, start. You started with. Oh, I tell you, in my new car. That's what you started. I, I prefaced it by saying. It's he a did. newer car because for a long time I drove an older vehicle that didn't have this technology, which was also a luxury vehicle. I might add. Well, I, I, I mean, Joe likes. The it was a 2005 <laughs> Jaguar. Took premium. Took premium <laughs> gas. Well, yeah, because it was a V8. <laughs> there you go. That's had like power. 200. That's a lot of had Joey yeah. cylinders. That thing went like 240 miles an hour, man. That uh, thing flew. You old bougie yeah. bitch. But do you yeah. not agree with me? You guys just. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't have that type of vehicle. Oh, fuck off, Bob. You got a Lexus. An old Goober Lexus. That oh, is. old Goober Lexus. You is know like what? Four years old. And you no. know what he's looking at buying now, Michael? Don't do this. Don't what do is he? What, what you is he? started what is he? it, Mike. Bobby, you know what he's looking at? What is he looking Come at? on, man. It starts, Come on. With the, it starts with the P and ends That's in That's a Porsche. That's a Porsche. Oh, it's a... That's a Porsche. If it starts with oh, it's got to be a Porsche. And, and a Porsche. <laughs> a nice vehicle, Bob. Nice High vehicle. end, too. I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm looking to lease it. This guy down here... I didn't here. buy it. I'm leasing as well. No, you're, not. you're fine. It. You're financing. It. Financing, yeah, yeah, financing. Yeah, that's a you bought it, John. You bought the vehicle. You bought it. You're financing it. If, you if it. you're paying a mortgage, you bought the home. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing as you, Bob. <laughs> no, you're not oh, doing the same thing. Man. I'm leasing the car. I'm not yeah. financing the car. I'm. Let me tell you something. That lease, that lease, that monthly note's going to be something else for that poor. Oh, man. <laughs> get at it. If it's that's, a new one, dog, that's a lot of dude, that that a new, cameo cayenne. Just outrageous. <laughs> hey, Michael, cameo cayenne, sure. That's great. Like, it's got it's a cameo Carrera. He's got a, he's he's got a really he's got a really nice car. and I'm very happy for him because he works really he hard and he yeah. deserves that. He really does. Deserve I saw the guy. Michael just bought a new car two days. But ago. I will say, I leased I leased a new car. But my lease was up. Oh, what was I supposed yeah, to do? He did. He that got that big old. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know, oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold, that hold is, it out of the way. Yeah. Bellotti's on the way. This is so. so you, get, you guys, that is man. A big <laughs> this is the drug, sickest. Man. This is the sickest shit ever. What? He just my sent lease us a was. And he goes, bro, sign in the papers. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sign in the papers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> my lease was my lease was up. What am I supposed to do? I I had to get a new car. Get I had a, to lease a, another car. A modest Toyota Camry. I have two kids, Bob. How am I fitting two kids and all my shit in a Toyota Camry? 
um, it's not possible. You need with, you with need Michael SUV. got you, when could, you, have a you family, could fit a family I, of eight. I, I don't I don't and more importantly, safety for my children. Getting an accident in a Toyota Corolla with kids, that's not what I want to do. I want the I, biggest, I, safest car possible for the children. You know, when you bring in the children, we have to the, the we, yeah. we have to put the we, he he loves Dominic and he Dominic loves to do that because there's safety over everything else. Safe else. Car, Bob. It's yeah, of safe course. Car. What are we gonna say? What, what are we going to say to that? I mean, yeah, you, you don't want my children injured in a car accident, I don't. I'm sure. Okay. No, That's absurd. I, okay. I, I, said that don't. I said you don't. I, I said know, you don't. I know. I know. But you don't need to go there. This, By the way. And, 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 and Ford was very good. And it was a Ford. It's American made. It's a Ford. Is it a sponsorship? No. No, I wish. No. Okay. No, I wish. Uh, that right. would be nice. I tell you what, the Billy Dumb could, could use a car sponsorship. Ford, built tough. Just like the brilliantly yeah, dumb show. I don't care what company it was, what kind of car it was. I'd sponsor the living shit. I'll I'll sell right the fuck out for a yep, for yep. a car. Yeah, I will sell. It's like you ever see uh you never Bob <laughs> I, see I can't ask these questions. Ask Bob me, ask never, me. You ever see Eastbound and Down Joe? With, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When uh when Will Ferrell's what's the guy's the, what's the guy's name? Uh, Ashley Schaefer. Kenny Powers. Yeah, yeah, Kenny Powers, but Ashley Schaefer, BMW, Will Farrell when he signed oh, yeah. the BMWs, and the next <laughs> season they come back, and he's now he's working at a Kia dealership, and he's like, "What happened to?" And, and Kenny Powers is like, "What happened to BMW?" He's like, "He is a vastly superior machine." Yeah, you know? he's so he Ash- sells out right away, and that's what that reminded Ashley, me. Ashley, what was his name? Ashley. Ashley Schaefer. Ashley yeah. Schaefer, BMW. Great, I can feel it in my plums. Deep bluish hue. Bluish hue. <laughs> the sun bounces. Wow, right it's off. so crazy. Bob doesn't fucking know any of this. He doesn't watch television. He doesn't some, watch television. Some about, you like, know what? one podcast for a show, maybe. Or something. The Here's way, the thing. Here's the thing. If but he Bob could crush watch... me. But he could crush me on that. If he starts, like, when he starts talking about, like, these internet people, when we were on the trips the past two weekend, he starts name dropping oh, these influencers. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, who? Yeah, what? Yeah. Where? So but he's got thing, that Bob. on me. I can't have that conversation. I can't. I'm Bob, lost. I, I, I'm going to suggest because you, you, you're not very cultured when, with movies or television. And I'm not you, cultured with movies. I just don't want. What are that's a shot. Was, that's a shot. It's yeah. not a shot. Is it not true? Call the shot. Culture. It's a powerful word. That's it's a, a word that mind. it's not a. That's fucking ridiculous. It's just okay. Bob is not good with movies and television. Correct. Okay, yeah, so right. why we're we're arguing over a no? no go ahead. Word. Go ahead. We're, we're, I'm busting your balls. Go ahead. Bob, do you read books? No. Have you have you read five, have you read have you read five books in your whole life? Uh, in um elementary <laughs> school for third, fourth, and fifth grade, they make you do summer reading and you have to do a report when you yeah, get back. You got you got cat in the hat. You got uh you know Mr. <laughs> Brown here. Twas a nightmare before Christmas. Sure. sure. <laughs> third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, I did the same presentation on the Derek Jeter biography book that I read. Oh my god. Goodness. Talking about his upbringing in Kalamazoo, Michigan, Three, third, fourth, Bob, and fifth grade. Can I make a suggestion to you? Sure. Okay. Sure. He, just like movies, he only reads sports books <laughs> and watch sports. This movies. guy's a cartoon <laughs> character, man. Bob, you you listen to a lot of podcasts, right? Why don't you try to get into like audio books? Do you know with the amount of like podcasts and stuff you listen to, if you listen to like audio books, like books on tape. Yeah, or educational things. Bob, you would be one of the most learned educational people I have ever met. You would you would absorb knowledge like a sponge. But you know what, though, to be honest, and this this is this is honestly, I want to have the knowledge in the field that I'm in. I like soaking in all the different stuff. He like, does have that knowledge. He does. He does. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Like, like he's like Professor like a, X. He's he is a he is a influencer savant. He knows every He's single like Professor X person. of the mutant X Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. I, but but it, it's it sounds so ridiculous, and I know I'll get made fun of it, but but it's my passion. It's what I love. I love this oh, world. Passion. Oh, like Joe, when we play with Kyle from the Nelk Boys, when we play with him in in a couple weeks, do you know how much I'm gonna have to talk to him about when I'm in the cart with him? I mean, I, I I can go. You could. Bob, send, I've always I've always said your emotional and social intelligence is off the charts. I'm just saying, with the amount of podcasts and stuff, no, you listen I see to, what you're saying. With all the hours you spend, if you would listen to some kind of audio tapes or books or or some kind of like educational content, you would you would amass such a knowledge that you would, quite frankly, you would probably take over the world. I I just feel um that that. Ch- 
I feel that like that ship has <laughs> has, has a stretch, but yeah, well, I just, a bit of a stretch. But I'm, but Mikey, do you not see where I'm going with this? No, no, I know what you're saying. Like, like if he just instead of listening to like guys talk about like like a, like I don't know what they talk about on some of these podcasts, like oak <laughs> trees or octopus <laughs> species and stuff like that. Like if he just did that instead, he could supplement the podcast like with a couple books on tape. He could really yes. start building up a knowledge, but. Yeah, I don't. I try doing the audio books also because that's one thing I always wish I did more of because it is like when you read, you do, you do absorb and learn and you speak differently. I really do believe that. Like it does open up so much more. It's just like finding the time to read. And the other problem with reading, for me at least, is if I lay down and start reading a book, I fall asleep almost instantaneously. I do it faster it's like, than a it's movie. It's like taking yeah. a fucking sedative. It's insane. Yeah, I, I do. I, I fall asleep doing that then faster than even me watching a movie. Now, with that being Anything. said, just to throw that in, you guys recommended Griselda. How'd you like it? Oh, man, I, I really, really enjoy it. Good. I really do. Um, the the first episode was amazing, but it got a little slow second, third oh, episode, amp up. But, but I'm enjoying yeah. it. it. It's slow, but it's an no, okay it picks slow. It picks oh, it goes it insane. Yeah, okay. It does. It does. Oh, By the way, Sophia crazy. Vergara. Um, yeah, Mikey, you said she wasn't good looking at it. She yeah, looks like a dime. She's, wait, 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 wait. She, she's, she's a beautiful woman. But in the show, they had to make her look busted her nose because a little bit, in yeah. real life, the real Griselda looked oh, like the Wicked man. Witch of the West. It was Correct. terrible. Oh, my. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a big old That's a big old Not a good old my. That's no, a not in any scenario. Yeah. A real bad old my. That's right. That's um, right. All right. Buy sell, yeah. sell uh, Mikey V. Yeah, you know, I'm going to sell um, and I'm going to sell this. And I should have sold this probably like two weeks ago. I could have sold this maybe a month ago. I am selling the 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 NFL draft conversation surrounding the Chicago Bears. And and I'm saying that not as a Bears fan, but just a football fan in general. The conversation about the number one overall pick in Justin Fields is becoming so annoying to the point where it's like, it's all that I see on all my feeds. It's all that's on ESPN. I saw it this morning. I just happened to turn on football in America this morning. That's the first thing they were talking about. Now Peter King says that they're not going to trade him, that they're going to keep the number one. It is so annoying. This part of the year, and this happens almost, I would say this is one of the more dramatic ones because of the position that they're in in particular. But every offseason after the Super Bowl, there's always this kind of conversation surrounding a team. Who are they going to... It's so stupid and so pointless to have the conversation because no one really knows what's going to happen. You can take your guesses of what's going to happen, but it's been beaten like a dead horse. And Caleb Williams is becoming a very polarizing oh. figure and people are going in on him. And now he's not thrown at the combine and people don't like that, even though Joe Burrow, a lot, of pressure. Lawrence, a lot of guys don't throw at the combine. Though. A lot of guys don't. Not so it's time, like, though, Mikey. Listen, man, it, I, like I said, if Caleb Williams busts, I'd be the least surprised person in the world. I, I would be. Kind of I would soft. be. Mikey, the only, the only thing that I will say, though, is like, and obviously you know how every year the, the number one pick gets so blown out of proportion. It's, it's nonstop. Insane. A, football so popular and they don't have anything to talk about. That's all they could talk about with football. And it is enticing in the sense of one pick obviously can change the direction of your whole franchise. So that that's fun. But also, too – and you mentioned it. My other thing is like, I think it is fascinating the position that the Bears are in and the different moves that they can make to where I feel like this is different than any years prior where you it know is. the team needs. It like, is. I'm almost excited for you in the sense of it's so much fun. And then you guys get the what, ninth pick, eighth, ninth pick? Ninth. Yeah. It, no, listen, listen. We're in the catbird seat. There's no question. I'm just saying the repetitive asking of the same question in 80 different ways is just yeah. so it's just, I'm just over it, bro. I mean, it's a good I'm just problem. Ready for the draft. I'm ready for It's a great problem. They're in, listen, the bears are in the catbird seat. I think no matter what they do, they're, they're in an advantageous position, but that being said, I'm just, I'm just exhausted with the question. It's just, it's just, it's so annoying. Bro. It's just annoying. Well, maybe that's why point. Justin Fields turned off his Instagram. Probably. Probably. Yeah, I do find it though with the position they're in, it's so interesting to where like then you have Fields and you don't know for sure if he's the guy. No, you don't think that he Imagine is. Imagine like, if your Fields, how much worse it would be than what you're already saying, Mikey. It's about no, listen, job. I mean, like well, that's of course. Tough. But that's I mean, I just looked at him. It, somebody put up a graphic today, him and Trubisky's side by side numbers, and it ain't good. I mean, in the uh, same amount of games, it just ain't good. It I just know. is not good, dude. It's it's not good. It's not good. We talked. He's about just it. not a good passer of the ball. He could run the ball better than anyone. 
but he's just not a great passer of the football. He's not. That's not going to get you far. Today's today's NFL, you have to be able to throw the ball. You just have to. Yeah. You're not going to win. We talked about it in Daytona. I um, I get it. I just – I'm not done on him. I actually, I still think he's really, really good. And I just think the Bears team, you would know him. better. But yeah, I just think the Bears team is so bad too. I think their line stinks that I, I still think he could be really, really good. Uh, but that's what makes it interesting. They're they're in a, It's a fun, it's got to be a fun spot for you. To, I know for me, if it was the Jets, I'd be really, I mean, it's got to be fun. Yeah, but you would be you would be taking the same negative route as I would be though because you you know you Probably. did it with Rodgers and I think the Jets are still in one of the more fascinating positions and I mean you didn't get to see what your team looked like with Rodgers you got one of the best defenses in the league you get another receiver you get some more O-line help and you're right there. I mean you're yeah. right there. I'll fuck it up. We'll I'll say. fuck it up. You know what's fun? Real quickly, seeing number 22 in pinstripes, Michael. Oh, wants Mr. Soto. That's he went yard. So didn't he go yard fun. again today? I think he yeah. went yard. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, Bob he's, said he's, for the first tough. time I've heard this ever is that he wants to get a jersey. I don't. I don't think Bob's bought a a, a player jersey. It's true. You get the twenty two, and that's kind of a double up. You know, he could be that could be a Cano jersey yeah. or a Soto jersey. I mean, obviously now it's a Soto jersey, but you know, listen, uh, Yankees, if they stay healthy. That that's going to be the problem. Big if, I just yeah. they just never ever stay healthy, never. I, but if they can, it'll be interesting. I think the big problem is is um the Orioles being in that division. I mean, the I Orioles that on are the sportsman be last tough, week. man. They're going to be good, but I do think the Yankees are going to have a really good regular season. I just think they'll get booted and you know ALCS whatever ALDS whatever. But I do think they'll have a good regular season. Um, I will go to buy or sell. There's a sub shop that I don't think is being talked about enough. It's it's a big chain, and it hits. I've had it a few times. It, it's really, really good. Um, they had a lot of hype in the beginning, and then it kind of, like, people stopped talking about it. I think Firehouse Subs. I think, Joe, maybe you turned me on to it early. I think Firehouse Subs is really, really good, and all their yeah, sandwiches are, like, hot. We had it the other day. I thought it was fucking awesome. And they yeah. had a thing on Postmates. It was buy one, get one free meatball subs. Ticket and, and Perez wanted a meatball sub. I'm yeah. always concerned. If I see an $11 meatball sub and it's buy one, get one free, I'm out. I'm usually it was out. good. Very good. You had some of it too. I had a quarter of it, yeah. Because they just left it. Perez didn't eat it because it came with cheese. There was an extra I'm like, one. Perez, every fucking meatball sub in the history of mankind has come well, with cheese. Yeah, that's a meatball parm, then, if it's got cheese on it. He, no, he but is, a meatball sub should have cheese on for it. For him yeah. to not like cheese, but then love pizza. It's one of the wilder diets I've, I've ever seen anybody have. It, it's <laughs> crazy. Well, he says his diet consists of eating foods that are brown. Yeah, <laughs> brown. He said, "Yeah, it's tan, tan and khaki brown. foods." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it's brown, I'm in. Now we are going to go into our snake draft. Um, I, I just want to oh, ask, ah. real quick, Joe, are you still ordering those insomnia cookies? I would like to, because they might close at nine. No, they're open till midnight. Okay, all right, we're clear. So you boys are back to your old tricks. Yeah, no, Mikey. yeah, Chipotle. The tonight. late dessert runs. Yeah, but now you're going to fucking insomnia cookies at ten o'clock at night. Healthy Chipotle protein bowls. He, okay. You know, Mike, you're going to wash it all away with the with the insomnia. He won't. Cookies. He won't go hand up accountability. What Joe? What did you have before the Chipotle? I had Wendy's chicken sandwich <laughs> meal. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't eat anything all day, Bob. I had that's the only thing I ate today. But we need to take account. I'm in it with you. I didn't I'm have a single. Same. You guys were putting back hot dogs and shit at the court. I didn't eat a single thing. I had a yeah, I had a hot dog, but I, I had three. I will tell you, hand up accountability that it's not that it's not good. You almost try and defend us for our eating rather than just saying, "Hey, we're eating like." I'm saying I didn't eat, eat that bad eat. today. I have not eaten that bad. Now, if I get insomnia cookies, that's bad. I, I will. I, I will. Listen, when it comes do. to the way we eat, we're scumbags. That's just eat. the way it is. That's just the way it Mikey, is. Yeah, I saw what you ate trips. yesterday. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was the problem. I turned a ticket when I saw that and I said, Do you believe? I said, Do you have any idea how many calories he just put down? I couldn't believe you treated oh, that pasta bowl. 
he treated that pasta bolognese like it was a bag of chips. Like he was using it on the side. I respect the fuck. That was the side. It was the side. Bro, it, he cleaned that Hollywood, thing. Hollywood, so Holly was very disturbed. Was she, she beside was like, herself? She was like, she was like, you ate, the, you didn't save the pasta for dinner. I was like, no, I just ate it now. <laughs> I, but here's the thing: I had no, bre- long- I had no breakfast. And I had no dinner yesterday. That was right, my entire right. day. The sandwich and the pasta. That was Fair it. Enough. Fair enough. And it was yeah. a ravenous. Now, it was still a very unhealthy meal. I mean, you're talking about doubling down on a loaf of bread and a full plate of pasta. It was a huge mistake. But in retrospect, I mean, but I given the situation, enjoyable. it was great. It was great. How it was many- great. It was great. We'll, we'll have um, we'll have Boner Ticket go ahead and put up the, um, the, the graphic, if you don't mind, Mikey. How, how many calories? The thing that I was concerned, the, the sub looked good, but it looked almost like too much chicken. How? First off, how was the sub? Second off, how many calories do you think you put down in that sitting? Had to be close to 2,500, I would guess, 3,000 maybe. Yeah. The sandwich was, I mean, the sandwich was chicken cutlet, prosciutto, balsamic glaze, long hot peppers, and fresh mozzarella. And then the pasta was a base cream sauce, which is a problem. It was a Calabria oh, red chili. Calabrian yeah. red Calabrian red chili cream pepper uh sauce. Oh, that sounds amazing. Spicy rigatoni. Yeah, over rigatoni oh, with crumbled hot wow. Italian sausage and peas. It was so <laughs> fucking good, dude. I it think it's so fucking good. I think it's there is one thousand. food that you it told might be. me I could only eat for the rest of my life. It is pasta. A yeah. good bowl of pasta yeah, just no, is not be cannot be beaten. No. That looks so good. Yeah, shout out Frank Anthony's great place. Shout out, yeah. By the way, a shout out as well. I don't get to talk about them much. Uh, Luna's Wood Fire Tavern, <laughs> the official sponsor <laughs> of the Brownly Dom Show. If you're not eating that Luna, shame on you. Use promo code Bear Down Cuz when visiting your local Luna's Wood Fire Tavern <laughs> in Nutley, New Jersey. Fifteen percent uh, off your entire bill. Yeah, or twenty. If you ask the right, <laughs> Lord knows Lou doesn't give a shit. So why not? Um. All right, let's um let's get into our snake draft. I this is something that we should have cleared up before the show. I'm honestly the I don't know the, the order. order because I think again, correct me if I'm wrong. I think combined Instagram, Twitter, I had the most votes, but I think Mikey won Instagram, and we said that we were going to go into no that no. Joe Chicken said that's not you were the, you were you were no. last. I was last. You were last. This guy had fucking Hakeem Elijah one at his three as a yeah, small I, forward. I was I I was first Joe. You were second, last. You were last. Yeah. So how it should go is Michael starts. I will lead us. I, I'm I'm actually going to get banged by being second because second is not as good. No, you I get... will go second. No, they were Bobby talking about whoever third. we were talking about whoever gets second actually gets the last pick and whoever get to... oh, finishes last. Gets that's the very nice. Joe, you get to pick, so I take it you're going to take the three, or Mikey may end up one and three, but Mikey, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be doing here today for the snake draft? So today we're going to do top five NFL skill position players of all time, and you have to fill your roster. The roster is quarterback, one, wide receiver, two wide receivers, running back, one, Tight end one, and then to supplement the honorable mention, Bob has recommended adding a kicker to the roster. So a kicker will replace the honorable mention spot. And there you have it. Snake draft. Wow. So Michael should go first and then I'll go third. Okay. Do you want the third pick or do you want the second pick, Joey D? Why why on earth would I um, take it's only I just have to ask. I just gotta I ask. I would like the third pick. I'll tell you what, I almost want the third pick. I think I could do Mikey. something real special Ooh. with that third pick, dog. All oh, right. This is gonna be Let's get down. Yeah, I could do something Let's real special about uh, 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 Joey D. Uh, little yo, bit. Yo, Mikey B. Player, please. Mikey All B right. with the first selection. So wow. Bob, you're going second. Is that correct? Because yes, I'm yes, gonna keep yes. I'm gonna keep tabs here. Okay. All right, yeah, first overall pick, I think, is a no-brainer pick. I mean, listen, he's the greatest of all time for a reason. Seven Super Bowl rings, two different teams, two different Super Bowl trophies with two different teams. I, I got to pick Tom Brady uh, to fill the quarterback spot. I'll go Brady, get the quarterback out of the way. Give me Tommy Terrific at one. Yeah, you got to go get a quarterback. I think it'd be crazy to not go with the quarterback. Um, so I'm going to go Justin Fields. 
with my second pick. No, you're not. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give give me. Um, I'm I'm gonna go Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go yeah. Patrick Mahomes at the two. Uh, Joey D, we now send it over to you. Now you're all fucked. Because yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select none other than Joe Montana as my quarterback. And he will be throwing to the greatest receiver of all time, Jerry Rice. How about that for tabs? <laughs> Suck on those ones, boys. <laughs> I gotta be in, I gotta be honest. I would have went a totally different route. But that's it. Listen, you got two oh. great players. You got two great players. I got the best wide receiver of all time. Okay. I'd be curious Robert. to know what route you were gonna go there. Back yeah. Then. Oh, what well, route? it's still the route is still open. So tread lightly. Red oh, light, like, shut it. Go ahead, Robert. Okay. Oh, man, please, please leave this door. I Bob, am get his go... guy. Get his guy, Bob. Give me at running back. Give me Barry oh. Sanders. I want great Barry's... pick. Great Barry. pick. Wow. Oh, but he's, he's Barry guys Sanders available. At running back. Sure are. Sure are. All right. Okay. I see you. Listen now, Jerry Rice. The conversation surrounding Jerry Rice. I'm not going to dispute he's not the greatest receiver of all time, but I am going to take two wideouts off the, off the board right now. I'm going to take he's two. Randy Moss. And you tell me how you're going to defend these two gentlemen. Give me Randy Moss and Megatron. Randy Moss and Megatron at the wideout spots. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's not. I, I got Montana thrown to Rice, so. I mean, I, I understand. Randy uh, Randy Moss Randy Moss is 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 unbelievable. I, I it's a great pick. And Me Megatron, I mean, <laughs> I mean Megatron is a fucking alien, Joe. But yeah. hey, Bob's pick. Bob, Bob's you pick. had Mahomes and and Sanders. You still need two wideouts and a tight end. Man, dude, th th this is th these are fantastic. It's it it's fun doing it, man. It is. It is. It, it really is. is. Um. I mean, you got two receivers to where, like, I feel like you got to take a receiver here. I'm thrilled with Mahomes and Barry Sanders out. Yeah, no, that's great. No, that's great. That's great. Um, I am gonna go with give me Michael Irving at wide okay. receiver. All right, I get two picks here. Yeah, you do. All right, I am gonna go with my first pick. I'm gonna take a running back. And I'm going to take Walter Payton as my running back. That's a good pick. Sweet. Michael, are you okay with that? Sure. What am I going to do? Nothing I can do about it. He's gone. And then I am going to take, in my opinion, the greatest tight end of all time. I am okay. going to take Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez is a dominant force. Yeah, he's a dominant force. I I I know Gronkowski and Kelsey. I, I and Gates is good too, but I I just don't think anybody's ever going to top that. The thing with me, I I agree that Tony Tony Gonzalez is probably the best, but to me the the margin for the tight ends it's not too big of a gap. It, it's a good pick. I um. I'm going to go with, I have Michael Irving, and then go ahead and give me Chris Carter. So I got Michael Irving, and I got Chris Carter at wide receiver. Patrick Mahomes, Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders Michael Irving. Chris Barry Sanders. Bob, it's not, by the way, was, <laughs> Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. He, he performs at Key West in Florida <laughs> on the weekend. Barry Sanders. <laughs> Bob, by the way, it's not Michael Irving. It's Michael Irvin. He said Irving, didn't he? He says Irving. He's saying mm. Irving stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, you got two picks now to round us off. Sure do. Um, I am going to, obviously, I got to fill tight end and running back. Um, You could give me. I, I, There's still so many good running backs, man. Fuck. Give, give me Kelsey. I'm going to take Kelsey at tight end. It was between him and Gronk, but I do think Kelsey, when it's all said and done, is probably in the conversation. Is the Where do you tight think end. Gates 
Gates is up. Gates is Gates is a top ten, top five guy for sure. Um, but I just think Kelsey is dominant. And then running back, I'm going to go very old school. Uh, who I think you know now that Sanders and ba- and uh, and Peyton are off the board, I think this is the only guy that could be in the conversation Jim with Brown? those two guys is Jim Brown. I'm going to take Jim so Brown. Emmett Smith back. didn't get picked, which is crazy. Yeah, Emmett ran behind the greatest line of all time. He's all right. He's, Emmett's good. Emmett's good, but he's give me good. Jim Brown. He's unbelievable. Jim Brown's a great pick. I wonder if we had to pick another set of running backs. Do you, does Christian McCaffrey get get tossed in there at all? He may, he may. You know, you got He's a lot. There Eric, yet, you got Eric Dickerson out there. You yeah. got, you know, there's Adrian a lot of guys. Peterson. You know, Ladanian Tomlinson. Oh. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a lot oh. of good guys out there. There is. Okay. Like said Jim Brown. I'm gonna go with. It. I mean, for me, it's either Gronkowski or Gates. Give me Gronkowski. Yeah, Gronk's the right play there. I think Gronk, Gronk over Gates, in my opinion, every day. Yeah. And Joe, last but not least, one I more wide out. I got three guys that I'm Jordy Nelson. At. No. I'm looking at Randall well, Cobb. Steve, Steve Largent was really Randall, good too, but Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb would be good. It comes down, it comes down right now to two. Well, actually, guys. Joe, you get two two you picks because you, you can, got you get your kicker too. So you gotta yeah. go kicker. Oh ah. yeah. <laughs> this is special. Um, fuck, man. I don't know if I'd rather have Larry Fitzgerald or Tyrell Owens. Um, two great choices there. I'm going to go. Give me the diva. Give me Terrell Owens. I'm going to go Terrell T-O. Owens. Uh, I mean, Rice and Owens played together. You got a little chemistry. I there. know. That's why I did it. All right. And then for my kicker. This is tough. There's a few guys. I mean, yeah, this should be a no-brainer, I think. I'm going to go with Justin Tucker. Wow. I I know you I know, wanted, Adam I know, I know, Bob, I, yeah, wanted Adam Benatari. Yeah. Wanted Adam Benatari. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, 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 like wow. I think Justin he's Tucker, the most cl- He's the most clutch kicker in the history, Benatari. I'm I mean, shocked. The Super Bowl dude. kicks, yeah. Are you Look, taking Benatari, Bob? Benatari may, may have taken my list to another level. I think Joey D not going to Benatari may come back to bite him in the ass. Bob, Justin T- Tucker would outkick Vinatieri any day of the week. Oh. Vinatieri kicked in a, in a time when kickers couldn't kick past but 53 Joseph, yards. T- Tucker's kicking 62 yards. Wait, says who, Joe? What's, what is Vinatieri's longest kick of all time? It ain't it ain't sixty two because that's Tucker. I'm taking know. that. He, he was he he kicked he made eighty four percent of his field goals lifetime. I'm taking Adam Vinatieri. Yeah, I mean that's the right play. Adam Vinatieri is the right play, and I'll take uh, I'll take Morton Anderson as a. Uh, that's a good one too. Yeah. Or look uh, at this, Michael. Look at that. Ninety point two percent of kicks, Justin Tucker. I mean, Justin Tucker is 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 probably the greatest NFL kicker of all time. Probably. But I, I think Venetary plays because in the clutch, Venetary was the best. He got to win I mean, the, the big game, Joey D. He had yeah. Tom Brady. Okay, so real quickly, we're, we're going to put up the stat, but just read off your teams. Mikey V, starts off, just re- read off your team. Quarterback, Tom Brady. Wide receiver, wow. Randy Moss and Calvin Johnson. Tight end, Travis Kelsey. Running back, Jim Brown. Kicker, Mort Anderson. That's pretty Bob. Crazy. Yeah. You got okay. Patty Mahomes. Pa- Patrick Mahomes. Whoa. I got Barry Sanders. Um, I have Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. I got Chris Carter. I got Rob Gronkowski. And then I got Adam Venateri. Joey D, read off your team, please, sir. I got Joey Montana. I got Walter Payton at the tailback. Wide receivers are Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens. Tight end is Tony Gonzalez, and my kicker is Justin Tucker. That's a really good team. I mean, it's a really good team. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be yeah. very, very interesting. Um, tell you what, boys, been a tremendous, tremendous. Joey D has a hand up. Joey D, go ahead. I just want to say I think Mikey and I are team are better than yours, Bob. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just That's listened funny. to the t- Michael Irvin and and Chris Carter, Bob. You could have yeah, done better. I got to say, I got to say this. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be out of respect, out of respect. I, I, 
I think if you could do your draft over, Bob, you would you would go elsewhere with wide out. I think you dropped Michael the ball Urban and Chris out. Carter is Ooh. not. I just think you... there were so many other guys. You could have got Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. You could have had. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I, I'm fine with my team. Okay. Okay. I, I like my team. Okay. 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 He so could have had Randy Moss. He could have had. Look, we'll just take a look at the poll. Um, without further ado, I will tell you what, though, fellas, another episode. Another great episode. Nice warm round of applause for there. Just, just a spectacular episode of the Brilliant Gum Show. Let's keep that momentum going now. Ladies, gentlemen, follow, like, comment, subscribe, five stars, the whole night. We're trying to keep this thing on moving. Um, we love you. We appreciate you. It's been another edition of the Brilliant Gum Show. We'll see you next time.